From power to efficiency, you can get all the benefits of a durable Duramax diesel engine by following these simple maintenance tips. First, make sure you have plenty of diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF. It's easy to refill it. Just purchase GM-approved DEF from a Chevrolet dealership. Open the fuel DEF door, or in some vehicles, you need to open the hood to find the DEF filler in the engine compartment. Look for the blue cap labeled DEF, then turn counterclockwise to remove it. Now, attach a funnel or spout to the DEF tank to prevent spills. Then, slowly pour DEF into it. Keep filling only until the fluid reaches the base of the funnel to avoid overfilling. There may be a short delay before the increased fluid level is detected and the DEF level on the DIC is updated. Wipe away any spills with a damp cloth. Place the cap back, close the fuel door, and you're done. Another thing you need to know is how to change your fuel filter. Depending on your vehicle, the location of the fuel filter may vary. It's usually located on the underside of the vehicle, on the driver's side, along the frame rail, or behind the rear axle. To confirm where yours is, you can check your owner's manual or Duramax diesel supplement. Before we begin, make sure your engine is turned off and the parking brake is applied. It's also important to wipe the area clean to prevent fuel contamination, because when dirt, water, or fuel with dirt or water enter the clean side of the fuel system, it could lead to more expensive repairs down the road. To change the fuel filter, you need to drain any water from it. You can do it by loosening the fuel filter cap using a hex tool or Allen wrench. Then let the fluid drain into the catch pan. Next, remove the filter cap by turning it counterclockwise. Then, remove the old filter element as well as the O-ring. When removing the O-ring, be careful not to damage the cap. If there's any dirt on the filter sealing surface, clean it off. Your new filter will come with a new O-ring. Wipe the cap surface thoroughly, then place the new O-ring on top. Make sure it's sealed properly all the way around, then lubricate it. Remember, the inside of the cap is on the clean side of the filter, and any remaining contaminants in this area will enter the injection pump and may cause damage to your vehicle's fuel system. Now slide the new filter element into the housing. While doing this, there's a chance that the water sensor probe can catch on the water separator filter in the center of the filter cartridge, so be careful not to damage it. Place the cap back and tighten it with a torque wrench. Then you can prime your new fuel filter by starting the engine and letting it idle for five minutes. Once you're done, you'll need to manually reset the fuel filter life. Just press and hold the thumb wheel for two seconds while the fuel filter life remaining is displayed on the DIC and wait for it to reset to 100%. And you're on your way. The process may vary depending on your vehicle, so always follow the specifications in your owner's manual or bring your car to a dealership for service. With proper care, our Duramax diesel engine can help make sure your vehicle can go the extra mile.